Hi guys, welcome back to Learn with Med Nuggets. In this video, we will be talking about heart failure with reduced ejection fraction versus heart failure with preserved ejection fraction. Heart failure refers to the failure of the heart to pump enough blood to the rest of your body because of dysfunction of the myocardium. Ejection fraction is a measure of the heart function. It's the amount of blood your heart pumps each time it beats. Ejection fraction is equal to stroke volume divided by end diastolic volume. Not all blood that reaches the left ventricle will be pumped to the aorta. Stroke volume is the proportion of blood the left ventricle pumps into the aorta. The normal ejection fraction is 55 to 70 percent. Heart failure can be classified into heart failure with reduced ejection fraction also known as systolic heart failure, and heart failure with preserved ejection fraction, also known as diastolic heart failure. The main difference between these two types of heart failure is the ejection fraction. Heart failure with reduced ejection fraction refers to a condition in which the systolic function of the heart is impaired. This reduction in contractility of the myocardium leads to a decrease in the left ventricle ejection fraction. An ejection fraction of less than or equal to 40% can lead to heart failure with reduced ejection fraction. This condition can be caused by impaired contractility of the heart or an increase in afterload. Impaired contractility of the heart can be caused by conditions such as coronary artery disease, cardiac arrhythmias, volume overload, which can be caused by valvular diseases, and dilated cardiomyopathy, which is a condition in which the heart muscle becomes stretched and dilated, which results in the weakening of the heart muscle. Afterload is the pressure against which the left ventricle must contract to pump blood. Increased afterload can be caused by conditions such as hypertension and severe aortic stenosis. Increased afterload causes an abnormal thickening of the heart muscle, increasing the oxygen demand, ultimately leading to poorer contractile function. Heart failure with preserved ejection fraction refers to impaired diastolic function of the left ventricle, in other words, the left ventricle cannot fill properly, which leads to an increase in the diastolic pressure of the heart. However, unlike in heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, the ejection fraction here remains normal as an increase in the diastolic pressure can increase the end diastolic volume and the stroke volume. The most common cause of heart failure with preserved ejection fraction is stiffening of the left ventricle wall, which can be caused by long-standing hypertension and left ventricular hypertrophy and restrictive cardiomyopathy. It can also be caused by impaired relaxation of the left ventricle, which can be caused by conditions such as constrictive pericarditis, which leads to fibrosis of the pericardium, and pericardial tamponade, a condition that happens when the pericardium fills with fluid, making it difficult for the heart to expand and fill up with blood. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day.